If you're preparing for the GMAT or working on your MBA applications, this week is packed with updates you really shouldn't miss. There's a brand new diagnostic quiz to test where you stand, an expert post that teaches you when to estimate versus calculate and data insights, free trials from top prep companies, and a free interview prep series already underway. All the links I mentioned are in the description below, so let's dive right in. If you've been practicing for a while but aren't sure where your true baseline is, this new diagnostic quiz will help. GMAT Club Forum quiz now lets you take free adaptive diagnostics for quant, verbal, or data insight. It feels just like the real exam. One question per screen, automatic timers, and a clean, distraction-free interface. Every single question and mistake you make automatically gets logged into your personal error log, which you can export to Excel for deeper analysis. That means you'll instantly see which topics or difficulty levels need the most work. Here's a simple way to use it. Do your daily practice using the forum quiz and take a GMAT Club test each weekend to measure your overall progress and stamina. Forum quiz starts at $19 and the full GMAT Club test starts at $79, which you'll find the link to right below this video. Now, once you're in data insights mode, there's always that question, should I estimate or calculate exactly? This week's expert post breaks down the answer brilliantly. You should estimate when the options are spaced far apart or when you're just comparing trends, ratios, or ballpark figures. Think questions where a close enough answer will get you the point faster, but switch to precise calculation when you're dealing with compound growth, close answer choices, or tricky unit conversion. Those are moments where estimation can actually backfire. The post also shares clever rounding tips, fraction shortcuts, and mental math tricks. It's a reminder that GMAT isn't testing whether you can do big calculations. It's testing whether you know when to stop. The full article is linked below. If you love free stuff, and who doesn't, GMAT Club has just refreshed its list of partner benefits. That means free trials, full-length tests with video explanations, live strategy sessions, and even MBA planning tools you can use right now. Partners like Target Test Prep, Applicant Lab, Magoosh, and GMAT Wiz are all offering trial access. You'll also find special updates from business schools like Michigan Ross, McCombs, Goizeta, Nanyang, and Tuck. Basically, if you want to try out different prep tools before committing, this is the time to do it. All the offers are linked below. And hey, if you're finding this video helpful so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We post new updates every single week to help you prep smarter and apply stronger. Now, let's talk about something that every GMAT taker struggles with, repeating the same mistakes. A GMAT Club member recently shared how all almost all of his errors fall into just three categories, missing details from rushing, overthinking under pressure, and occasional concept gaps. It's a great reminder that not all mistakes are about content. Sometimes it's your mindset or timing. The community has shared some excellent advice on building habits to fix each type of error, like reading more attentively, managing overwhelm, and building confidence under time pressure. You can check that thread through the link below. For those of you who enjoy quant hacks, they're supposed to making the rounds again on recurring decimal. It shows how to instantly figure out the repeating pattern in a fraction without long division. Here's the simple rule. If the denominator is made up of nines like 9, 99, or 999, the number of nines equals the number of digits that repeat. And if the denominator is a prime number other than 2 or 5, the length of the repeating block divides p minus 1. Once you understand this pattern, you can answer which fraction has the longest repeating decimal questions in seconds. Seconds. Full explanation is linked below if you want to learn the trick. If you're looking for a more interactive community experience, make sure to join GMAT Club's MBA Aspirant Group on LinkedIn. It's one of the largest MBA applicant communities online, and it's great for keeping up with application deadlines, upcoming events, and success stories. You'll find the invite link in the description. Now, if you constantly run out of time in quant or data insights, there's a new video that might save you 10 minutes on test day. It walks you through five top scores or hacks, picking smart numbers, using quant shortcuts to skip heavy math, reading efficiently in TPN MSR, knowing when logic beats calculation, and mastering timing strategy. If you're aiming for a 99th percentile score, this session is a must watch. The full video is linked below. Next, something for those in the interview phase. GMAT Club has started sharing real MBA interview debriefs from students, actual questions they faced, how they responded, and what worked. The most realistic way to prepare because you're learning from people who've been through the process. Check the link if your interview is coming up soon. And if you want live prep, GMAT Club 
Group's free interview prep series is running right now through October 29th. It's a full month of sessions with tips, strategy, and Q&A focused on top 20 MBA programs. You can register free of charge using the link below. Now, let's settle one of the biggest debates in MBA admissions. What exactly counts as a good GMAT score? This week's GMAT Club podcast dives right into it. You'll hear from Brian Phoebe of Garufai and Maria Wishvilla from Applicant Lab, two people who've helped hundreds of applicants navigate this question. They discuss how admissions committees actually view GMAT scores, when retaking makes sense, and how your score interacts with GPA, work experience, and essays. You can listen to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Amazon Music, all linked below. And if you're aiming for the very top, GMAT Club's new YouTube series on the M7 schools is your blueprint. It covers Harvard, Stanford, Wharton, Booth, Kellogg, Sloan, and Columbia. What each one really looks for, how essays and recommendations are weighed, and what differentiates successful applicants. It's a deep dive into what it takes to stand out in the world's most competitive MBA programs. You can watch the entire series through the playlist linked below. All right, that's a wrap for this week's GMAT and MBA news. If this roundup helped you, hit like, subscribe, and check out the description for all the links, guides, and registration pages that I mentioned today. If there's a topic or news item that you'd like covered next week, drop it in the comments and and we'd love to include it. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.